Hi Sagittarius, how are you doing? This is your love reading from the 1st until the 7th of April 2020. So we're going to be looking into your energy, your person's energy and past, present and future this week. And as usual in my spirit room, this is where I'm recording, um, we will ask your spirit guides to give you a message at the end of the reading. It's how they want it. They want to always give the last say. So we give them the last say. And I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to call in your spirit guides now. So Sagittarian, your guys, spirit guides, please come in for Saggy. And um, can you please tell us what is going on with Sagittarian's love life right at this point between the 7th? Oh, what am I talking about? I'm so back to front today. The 1st and the 7th of April 2020. So I mean, just a general reading, guys. If it resonates with you, I'm so glad. If it doesn't, please check back next week as energy is always changing and moving. Different energies come in at different times. Um, if you feel like I'm talking about your energy, but if you feel like you want to reverse your person's energy, if I say you or your person and you want to reverse, you can go right ahead and do that as well. Um, anything else? Oh yeah, hit the thumbs up button if you like the video, please. Like, share, subscribe, do the whole thing. I think my neighbor is coming in with his car. So if he's revving, oh dear Lord, just bear with me. I do not control my neighbors. Okay, I live in the city. So, um, hey, by the way, hi, my name is Deborah. It's my channel, Energy of Everything. Let's get into this reading. I'm so distracted today. I don't know why. Okay, Sagittarius, let's get a card out for your energy, please. Let's get a card out. Yes. Whoa, we've got seven of swords. Mm, mm, mm. Let's get a card out for your person's energy. Already they said there is a card. There is the card. Whoa, what is going on here? That's interesting. Why do we have two energies coming through? One is doing something else and the other one is doing something else. It's like complete opposite energies that are moving in. So let's get some confirmation cards because you've got a four of wands on your person's side. Really? And then on your side, you've got a seven of swords energy. This is interesting. It's like, are you even in communication with this person? Or if you're, in commu are you're with this person, it's like both of you are on two separate pages. What's going on here? This is interesting. I'm going to check a bit more in. Now let's get some confirmation so we can get deeper looking into what is going on here. Um, you know, I'm looking at the seven of swords by your energy and this person is looking in the other direction. It's like they're not even looking at this person or they're not even aware of them or they're not paying attention to them, your energy. Ah, okay. Let's have a look and see. Two of wands. Imagine. Jeez, what is going on here? Why is that seven of swords there? Ah, and a card has flown. I'm going to pick it up. Let's see what it is. Gee whiz, we've got two twos in both of your energies. Okay, people, let's talk. What on earth is going on? Why do you have a seven of swords energy right over there in your main energy? Um, in the reverse energy. This is interesting. And I feel... There has been strains with you in the past year. There has been some stresses and some strains that you have been carrying. And you actually left some of them behind. You put them down, you walk away. You have left something. You walked away from a connection. Or you walked away from a person. Um, it was too stressful to be there. Or you're walking away even now from somebody that you don't want to be with. Um, has a very, very interesting reading. Um, there is a two of wands energy. Jeez, in your energy. Why? Why did you walk away from this person? Because two of wands energy. There's a two of cups as well. This is crazy. This could be somebody that you actually walked away from. But there's a contradicting energy going on in this reading between you and this person. Honestly, Sagittarius, what is going on with you? Okay, I'm going to say what I'm seeing here. It's like you've lost somebody that you really love. There's a connection with someone that you had. And this connection could have even been a marriage connection. Could have been, but it was quite a deep one. There was a friendship that happened between you and another person. I feel you've walked away from this person. You guys are not together. But there's a bond here. 
I'm sorry, Saji, I hope this is your reading, but it's just this is a very, very, very strange connection going on here. Both of you still love each other. What on earth? Both of you still love each other. This a person um, thinks about you. I don't know if you know that. I don't think you have any contact with each other. But this person thinks about you and honestly even dreams about you um, guys even being married to each other. What on earth is happening? You guys are mirroring each other a lot. Um, this is a very interesting connection. This could be, I'm going to say it, Saji, even a twin flame connection that I'm looking at here. Um, you guys are no longer together because they've got the two of cups energy. You got the seven of swords energy, but you're dreaming about each other. Yep. Um, if it's not your reading, Saji, I'm sorry, but um, if this is your reading, if you're wondering about your person, they think about you so much. There has been a fight between the two of you or a disagreement. It's actually quite silly. This breakup, it seems so, it's I'm not saying it's silly. It's just that I feel like it could have been avoided. Why? Who was the one that walked away? I feel like it was them. And it could have also been you. It's almost like they gave you no choice, but you had to walk away. Um, there may be communication again between you and this person. Because there is unfinished business right on this table. Um, if you're wondering why you can't stop thinking about this person. Two of Wands energy. That is something that a person... It's almost like, wow, okay, this is really specific, guys, for whomever this is. It's almost like you may even ask yourself, why do I keep thinking about them? Why can't I just forget about this person? Why can't I just move on from this thing and not remember this person? Why can't I just leave and go? And why do they keep popping up in tarot readings across YouTube? Every time I go to a tarot reading, they're talking about this person. Why, 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 why? You may be asking and there it could be also within you a knowledge that yes this person and you could have a a bond here that even you may not understand or you may understand this could be a twin flame connection or a deep soulmate connection and that is what makes the two of you keep thinking about each other this person heavily heavily is thinking about you and thinking about future, even thinking about how can I make it work? How can I fix this? How can I move forward? And um, I almost feel like there's a longing on their side for you. Wow, Sergi. Gee whiz, um, you, are you trying to move on? I feel like you're trying to move on. You're trying to move on. You're like, I'm trying to move on. I'm trying to move on. But it's almost like a part of you in your head is going, I am aware that I may actually um think about this person for the rest of my life kind of energy gee whiz and we haven't even gone into past present and future yet oh spirit guides what is going on what is going on okay stop yeah yeah past energy look at let's look and the really they said you got your hand present energy <laughs> i'm not surprised temperance is showing its face in almost all of my readings and in the reverse energy card has fallen you're taking it as it's fallen look at this mm, 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 mm. oh yeah sagi 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 yeah beginning to make sense um you got an eight of wands energy in the past energy it is in the reverse energy guys um so what happened in the past in this relationship somebody kept on holding back somebody wanted to move forward somebody wanted this relationship to grow and they want it to be together i think it's you because you got the two of wands energy this is actual an actual deep connection but then coming from your person's side keeps on slowing it down it's like you guys get together and you everything's fine and you're moving on and the relationship is growing and then it just comes to a screeching halt it's like anchor breaks or they start pulling away the energy and you going why are you doing this and that caused you to every time think, and now? What do I do now? I mean, why is this happening? And then it brings out this 
where you don't want to be energy. It brings out the questions, the worries, the doubts, the stress. That's what you don't want. That's what you're putting down. And I think you put it down. I think you were the one that said, ah, no, um, I can't be in this kind of energy with this person. The stop and start. It's giving you my energy. I'm not giving you my energy. I'm giving you my energy. I don't know why this person is doing this. Um, you have got a major arcana card that comes out. It is the temperance card, which by the way, I am not surprised to see there. Let me tell you, you embodied your energy to the fullest. You, you know, this is a Sagi card, by the way, and it's, I'm not surprised it's here. You trusted your Sagittarius instinct here in this reading. Sagittarius doesn't like this kind of game that gets played where somebody gives you love, pulls back their love. Today they're hot, tomorrow they're cold. Nah, Sagi don't play that kind of game. It's so funny that if you look at this, this little angel, this person is literally one foot in the water, one foot out. Imagine pouring water from one cup to the next cup. And it's like you trusted your intuition. You trusted that third eye energy. And you were saying, you know what? I know I can't stay in this energy. Even now, I think you trusting your intuition with regards to the situation. Very interesting enough, right? Um, I don't feel like you've completely shut the door on this person because of the two of wands energy being there, because of memories that keep popping up. It's like, this is almost like an open-ended thing. It's like it hasn't, you know, um, it's not like the two of you said, I hate you, I hate you too. It just kind of fizzled away and it kind of just ended like that. And it's, there's an open feeling here that, and it's there as well because this person is in the same energy. They're thinking about um, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I, but they don't take action to it. It's like one of the two of you is supposed to come forward and break the ice, but you're not doing it. And I think Sag is like, I'm not doing nothing. I'm just putting my brakes on. I'm stopping right here and I'm not doing anything. They must do something. If they don't do it, then I'll live with the memories of them forever kind of energy. Um, you know, uh, future energy comes out it is the four of cups in the reverse energy and i think there is going to be some kind of regret in the future with regards to what has happened here and i'm going to say it's going to be on your person's side there's a sign that it's on your person's side because a two three things that i've noticed actually two things the card actually falls in their side right even though it's future energy they have a four already and now there's a four here as well. I think future energy, whatever decisions they did make in the past about this connection or in it deciding to pull back the energy, not wanting it, like they were not ready for commitment. But in the future, they will be ready for commitment. They will be. They think about future now. They think in the past, I feel like they, they were like, no, I'm not ready for this commitment. I'm not ready for this kind of relationship. I'm too young. I'm too single. I'm too, no, 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 no. This is going too fast for me. Let me pull my energy back. And then when this Four of Cups energy comes out in the future, they go, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Because actually, at that moment, three months ago, five months ago, I wasn't ready. But now I feel like I'm getting to that point where I'm ready. But where's Saji? Where's Saji? Saji's not here. Saji's gone. What if Saji's with someone else? What have I done? OMG, Sagittarius. Um, I don't know what you're going to do because you're embodying your energy right now. You, Because you got this, this temperance card that has come out and that is somebody, that's a Sagittarius in their power right over there. So what will happen in the future? I don't know if this person is just going to want to live with regret and not contact you. So I'm going to ask now, spirit guides, let us see what do you have to say about this whole connection? You know, you must remember, I did mention in the reading, guys, this could be a twin flame connection. It's very, I don't honestly talk about this often, um, but there's a strange thing with this reading. It's quite interesting. Let me burst your guys' bubbles. Twin flames reading is not a, always a good thing. Okay. It, there is no happy ending. It's very rare 
that both people are woke at the same time. The only way a twin, twin flame relationship can actually come together is when both people involved become enlightened at the same time. If one remains unenlightened and the other one is enlightened, then the union will not happen in this lifetime. Yeah. I work with spirit guides and I always get to see things from their perspective, which is not where you live now, what you do now, who you, who you are now. They always look at it from a perspective much greater than we can even ever understand. You imagine what is going on here. <laughs> so let's look at what they've got to say. To you, Saji, you've got another four that comes out here. <laughs> four fours. And I just want to let you guys know, I don't know if you know, during the time of this reading, we are in the 444 portal, which is about energetic downloads that are happening. Uh, this is so interesting. OMG. And I just told you that if both people are not enlightened, the reunion cannot happen. And four, three, three fours come out. We are in the 444 portal, I think, until just after this reading. It started at the end of March. It's going to end around about the 10th or the, the 4th or the 9th. I must check my dates. Of Just know it's around about the time of this reading, okay? Where there will be energetic downloads coming in from the universe for the population of the earth. Yes, these things happen, guys. I'm just letting you know. <clears throat> this person may receive this download and it can actually cause them to shift in consciousness, which can bring out this energy of understanding about who you are to them. OMG, guys, and regrets about what they have done. Um, they will be insecure in understanding. If they can, honestly, in a moment, enlightenment can happen to this person. I think you know who they are to you. On a soulmate level, twin flame level, I think you know, Saji. They don't know. They're not aware of it yet. Um, if they can know, it would make them very insecure. It would definitely make them regret. There would be an, they, yeah, there's someone coming home. I have one of, somebody in my house is an essential uh, worker that needs to go to work during the quarantine time. So they are coming home. Um, so if you hear a car, that's, yeah, the car coming in. Okay, so let's get back to the reading. Um, financially, not financially, security-wise, this person is going to get insecure, um, not knowing how to put this back together. No, and really, it can be, they can be insecure emotionally as well, because of. I think they're going to come to a realization of who exactly you are to them. That is what is going to pop out here. They've also got the energy of, I feel like they're talking about them, your spirit guides are talking about this person, by the way. There is hangman in the reverse energy. Hangman in the reverse energy. There's going to be a feeling that comes out in them of understanding you know, that they haven't felt before. Sorry about the car coming in, I told you. <laughs> okay, so they're making so much noise. Oh my gosh, sorry. See, when you're reading at home, and it's quarantine time and people are pulling in with like a little track or something like that. It's just like, oh God, everything must shake. Okay, quarantine, can you go over so I can do my work properly? Thank you, spirit guides. Guys, you must be safe as well during the quarantine time as well. All of you who are watching this reading, I'm sending you my light, my love. Be safe wherever you are, hey? Um, just get, let's get back to this reading. Oh my goodness. Okay, this person is going to actually get some kind of understanding during this time with the hangman being in the reverse energy with the four of pentacles. This understanding, it's actually going to bring about, it's almost like a bucket of cold water that gets poured over them. It's going to make them understand what they've lost. Um, I honestly, I'm not sure. I don't feel like you will reach out to this person. It has to be them that reaches out. Um, they may they may reach out because they, it's almost like when they get to the point of understanding of who you are to them, there's this inner peace that comes from within them, realizing what the connection was about. But it brings out almost an instant this and this energy. Regret, what have I done? Insecure. They're going to feel like, can I ever get Saji back? I've lost them forever. They will be extremely, 
insecure to actually reach out to you, being afraid that you might just cut them off or may not answer them or may tell them sorry because you're so in your power and I think they can see that you're in your power. Even if you guys are not having contact, this person could be watching you on social media or hearing from people what is going on with you. So there will be an insecurity at this point. The Once the knowledge comes in about who you are to them and it's coming in, this week, I think there's going to be an awakening within this person. It's going to bring about a lot of confusion, a lot of regrets as to what to do. What do I do? Um, I don't think they're going to do anything yet, but they're thinking a lot. And I'm really curious. It's like they're not telling me, will they do anything? It's like they, they're stalemating. They're not making a move. Um, I don't think you're going to make a move either, either to be honest. So we're stuck in a stalemate situation. So what is going to happen, spirit guides? I think they don't want to tell me. They're like, they don't want us to know. They're just like, no, right there. You leave it there. There has to be some kind of level of trust here as to what is going to happen. It's almost like you have to let go to the outcome and just trust in the universe as to what is going to happen. What will happen is going to happen no matter what whoa Saji I'm really wishing you guys the best of luck because even for myself it's they do this sometimes where they don't want to give information out too much but they'll tell you things but they don't want to give the end I really I, I wanted to reach for the cards and they're just like nope and I'm just like okay okay all right fine if this is a twin flame union here this is how it will be to the point of having to trust to having to trust how the unfolding of the situation, no matter which way it goes, it is the way it is meant to be. You can only work on you. You can't fix this person. This person needs to get to the level of understanding or no union can take place. Guys, I'm wishing you the best of luck in this connection. And be strong. Sending you all my love and my light. Ooh, excuse me. Thank you for watching. Bye.